Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'll demonstrate to you how you can change the PowerFlex 753 VFD maximum forward speed or frequency. I'll be using Alan Bradley's Logic Designer to do it and let's get started. I've got a Logic Designer here. First of all, I'll go online with the controller. Once you're online with the PLC, expand IO configuration. That's where you'll find your PowerFlex VFD. The PowerFlex VFD I'll be working on will be this one here for today. Double click to open the property windows. Once the VFD properties has been loaded, click on parameters. You can find the maximum forward frequency setup on port 0, parameter 520. You can scroll down. You can see this is uh, parameter 321. We're looking for 520. So here you go, this is port 0, 520. So the forward frequency right now is set is 60, but you cannot change it. It's been grayed out. It's mainly because uh, the drive is active and running. Before you access this parameters to be changed, you're gonna have to stop your VFD. You can check the status of VFD on port 0, parameter 935. If you scroll down, 0.0935 right here drive status if you see this being checked which means that the VFD is running and active this has to be disabled one thing to note is that this line here nine, uh, parameter 935 is a read only right so you can't really change it from here you're gonna have to stop your drive using some other means another way to tell is that your VFD is running is by the output frequency which is showing as 42 right now so I'm going to get this VFD to stop and come back to uh, parameter 935 here and keep monitoring it while the field guys stops the VFD here. If you like this tutorial, please like and subscribe.